I really love when people they just use what's around them and they don't go beyond their environment to it. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Abad Hakim here talking to you from Adakhla Peninsula. I hope wherever you are, whatever you do, you have a wonderful time. Adakhla is a, one of the top tourist destinations here in Morocco, Western Sahara. And I'm going to take you to the streets of the Adakhla to have something from the desert and something from the Atlantic Ocean. But I'm bringing you to the Talha restaurant to start with the oyster. They farm the oyster here in the Atlantic Ocean. My goodness, looks like you're having all the goodness from the Atlantic Ocean in your mouth. But let's do that, let's move, let's move. And that's a beautiful view of the Dakhla. Dakhla built in the Wadi at the Hab. And there is Atlantic Ocean. But I want to bring your attention to the one of the legacy of the Spanish colony for the area here. That's a beautiful church. It's built in 1954 and it's called Iglesia de Carmen. Look at Salma, she's just cooking rafisa, one of the most popular dish here in Morocco. And they cook it here during the weekend and they share it with their friends and family. But it smells amazing. She offered me, but it's polite to say no, because all that's been planned to be shared with others. Shukran Salma. Here I bring you to the very famous place, not only because the food is delicious, because they cook the unique, iconic food here in ad fish. And the top of that, historically, this place was owned by the Spanish person called Marcelo. In 1975, when the colonization of the Spanish on the Sahara ended, Marcelo left and left this amazing place for this guy to run and since then they run it and a lot of locals they come and eat here and i'm very honored to be with zakaria zakaria merlo من الاتلانتيك الاتلانتيك ايوه Sonara. Sonara. Ah. Sonara. So all those fish are lion caught. Show you what you have. The maza. The maza. What is this? Bura. Bura. What is this? Ananas. Ananas. Let's give it ananas. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this one Haddad. called pineapple or hadda. I asked Yahya why you call it pineapple. He said because it's so sweet and delicious. All that's making me so hungry. Looking forward to having this chunk of fish to eat. Oh, no, 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 no,
So this is what they serve here in Ad Dakhla and this is what the Dakhla people eating for a long time. The tuna fillets and also the bora fish, one of the famous fish here in Ad Dakhla. I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to dig in tuna kofta on the charcoal cooking. It will come later. Here we go. Bismillah. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, my goodness. This is only cooked on charcoal and a bit of salt put in the top of it. Nothing else. And it's so amazing. The fish is so oily and so soft too. So, a bit of lemon and dig with your hand. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's so hard to describe the fish. Only thing I can say about it is so delicious and it tastes Atlantic Ocean. Wow, the tuna fillet. Look how amazingly cooked it through. They cook in the charcoal and quick cook too. Man, but the signature of Dakhla. So delicious. It's just like a seafood heaven here in Dakhla. Mmm, my goodness. Wow. One of the side food here in Morocco is the Adas. And they serve it everywhere you go in Morocco. But when you come to Morocco, you make sure you ask for it and don't skip it because it's so delicious. It's so creamy too. Mm. Oh, here's the kofta is ready. The tuna kofta. Lemon juice again. And look how juicy. Look, look, look. Oh my goodness. This is a food from heaven. They put a bit of parsley and a bit of onion and that's all. Wow, so amazing. I love this one. This is my favorite. Mm. So I'm just gonna continue digging and let's go to the next one. قلت لي طلقني يمشي واحد القاضي من القدام مشينا واحد القاضي بدا عليا مشي فهام قال لي باه يقول بغيت تطلق المراه حقوق المراه مليون بالتمام So look at this tent, it's been set up by the community for a purpose for the old man. They gather here and they play the traditional games and also having a Moroccan tea and having a chit chat too. How nice is that? Come here. The people not here yet, but they will come later on when they finish work and praying. But I feel it's impolite to get in, but looking at it is so amazing and so great. الصحراء وسحر الصحراء شيك تعمل هكا تعملها من تحت من تحت وي ايوا 
الشدة تفرغ من آه. منطقة لا منطقة لا اوكي هاي عمامة هاي عمامة اوكي سو اي ريلي لاف وين بيبول ذي جاست يوز واتس اراوند ذيم اند ذي دونت جو بيوند ذير انفايرمنت تو ايت سو وات بيبول هير ان دخلة ايت ذي سورس ذي فود فروم ذي اتلانتيك اوشن as a fish and other seafood and also they eat the sheep of the desert the camel and I bring you to the Abdel Habir and he cooking the best camel here and the smoke is just going around the smoke of the fat dropping on the charcoal creating amazing Roma here in Dakhla I'm looking forward to it let's see what Abdel Habir have for us Look at that. So a lot of people I saw in the last two days I've been here in the Dakhla. They coming and eating the camel kebab, and what surprised me, seeing a lot of Europeans, they love it. I love it too. It's great. So what makes this kebab so special? Abdul Hafid mixing one third camel fat and two-thirds camel meat. So one-third of the camel fat, which is its flavor, a drop on the charcoal, goes up as a smoke, give a smokiness to the kebab and make it so delicious. And also, one thing I want to show you. Look at that. This onion is slowly cooked on the camel fat which Abdul Hafid put it in there which Abdul Hafid <laughs> which Abdul Hafid put it in the sandwich with the kebab looking forward to it Ooh. No, you see. Bismillah. Delicious, full stop. Really love it. Why? Because the fat, the camel fat, is giving it a smoky flavor. Plus, the camel in nature is a bit salty, and the camel here, they feed them in the nature where they eat the best in the desert, like a salty herbs, which that affects the flavor of the camel. And the sweetness of the onion, you don't need a sauce. It just makes it so juicy. Mmm. Amazing. Amazing. Next one, next one. So when the sun go down here in Dakhla, a lot of things happening and excitement will start here in the Sahara and the magic of the Sahara will start. So the last spot here in the streets of Dakhla I bring you to experience and see is the Moroccan sweets and it's so healthy. So I just talked to Mustafa and he's gonna make a zaza. Al Baladi, one of the most traditional sweets here in Morocco. Mustafa, give Halaka who here? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, Bahir. Alhamdulillah, in Ahmadullah, and Ashkur. Shurah Tamilina, you are Mustafa. Namilikum, Ukla, Sema, Vizaz Al Baladi, Bil Maghrib, Yani, Ibar and Tahli, Via Aliyat, Via Proteinat, Yani, Ukla, Kadima, Ukla Shabir. جميلة ومفيدة للجسم. وهالمغربي المغاربة يتحلوا بالزعزع بالليل. نعم يتحلوا بها يأكلوا في الع خصوصا في العشاء 
اهل خصوصا اصحاب الرياضه اللي كيمشيو للصال على حقيا اصحاب الرياضه اصحاب الصال اصحاب اللي كيترينيو في ملوءه بالالياف والبروتينات اللي عند مواد مهمه للجسم خلينا من اصحاب الرياضه خلينا من البروتين والله جعت انا ها مصطفى مرحبا عمل لنا واحده حيا بنا So Mustafa is just going to put all those elements together to make that piece of art called Zaza. Zaza al Balad. Can they look? Can I finish the rhyme? Bismillah. A rose. Balbul al Shair. Qan. Illa. Shufa. وهذا الشوفان معروف بالبروتينات والالياف وكنزيدوا الراي من الفوق نضيف سمسم مع كوكو مطحون عناب الزبيب الطامق مكسرات الله 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 شو هذا يا مصطفى؟ هذا زعزع البلدي في مدينة الدخلة في الصحراء المغربية الله I'm very excited One thing here when you come to the دخلة nothing is five star But you make sure you come into the streets, and I guarantee you a good food and also amazing and generous food. And you experiencing amazing culture of the desert people and this Zaza too. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. So creamy and delicious and healthy and sweet. And I can go on and on and on and on. It's so amazing. So it's getting windy here. I'm enjoying the buzzing of the street of Dakla. I hope you enjoy this episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and see you next time.